Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. My dad text messaged me to ask how to change the screensaver in Windows, so I thought I would share this information by way of my YouTube channel, knowing that most of my community probably already knows how to do it, but they probably also know someone who doesn't know how to do it. So hopefully you will find this video insightful. Here I am inside of Windows 7, as indicated by the title bar here. Oh, right there. See, it says Windows 7. Hey! All right, so I'm going to click this little blue orb in the lower left-hand corner that has the Windows logo in it. Up oh, pops the Start menu. Look at that option right there. It says Help and Support. What I'm going to do is teach a man how to fish. I'm going to go ahead and move my cursor here over the Search Help field. I'm going to click inside it and type in Change Screen Saver. Then I'm going to hit the Enter or Return key on my keyboard, and lo and behold, here are the best 30 results for Change Screen Saver, including one option I've already clicked. Now, before I go any further, let me go ahead and read this warning to you. You should download screen savers from trusted sources only. And if there's a question, you may want to ask me. Chris at Perillo.com is my email address, and yes, I do have a download site full of screensavers that will not destroy your computer. Either way, moving along, here's a blue hyperlink that says to change a screensaver. Let's go ahead and click that. Number one, click to open screensaver settings. Look at that. Windows Help actually lets you see how you can change the screensaver by directing you directly towards the direct part of Windows where you can directly change the direct screensaver. Directly. Direct. Here, in this drop-down menu, I have a set of options. Uh, I can change it to Mystify, which I never really liked, uh, 3D Text, or I can choose a blank screensaver as well. And while I'm here, I can also change the wait time. Uh, five minutes seems fine. I can also toggle the on resume display log on screen, you know, in case I'm worried that someone is going to look at my computer, which I'm not. When I'm finished, what does it say? Uh, it says, click OK. So I've set it to blank. Okay. Lo and behold, the world has not ended. The computer is not destroyed. I simply changed the screen saver. Now, there are many ways of getting to this information, including, let me go ahead and select that. Let's hit Control C to copy that text. Go down to the Start menu again, paste it by using Control V, and look at the top, Control Panel, Change Screen Saver. So it basically takes us to the same place, directly. That's how you do it! It's easy. Okay, I'm done.